Hello, everybody. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast Radio and Internet TV Network. Today with me, I have Elijah Free, Master Herbalist from Earth Friend Herbs. And Elijah Free comes to us with a long history of success. But I'm going to let him tell it in his own words. Welcome, Elijah. Hi, Martin. Thank you very much. I just want to say how grateful I am today to be talking with you and again, and to meet with all of our wonderful folks who like our Earthrend products and use them for so many years. Earthrend is a very interesting concept. The concept behind Earthrend has never been to go out and be the largest herb company. What we wanted to do was to have products that nobody else even conceived of that could be created. And we've succeeded in that. I've been a practicing master herbalist now for close to 40 years. You can tell I've been around for a while. I have uh, two extremely busy offices where I see people uh, for herbal healings for all different kinds of things, which we're going to talk about today when we talk about and introduce the formulas that have been around for a while. And I also do a form of body work that people come for. Um, Earthfriend is very interesting because we have products that other people haven't been able to create before. Um, all of our products are actually created within therapeutic practice. So for example, a patient may come with a particular problem. What we'll do then is actually go to formula and create that. So our formulas were created, we could say under a pressure on that because nothing else existed as far as I know in the world, nor could the patient find something. And we come through pretty much almost every time. So that's what gives us such an unusual blending of formulas that you really don't see any place else. And yes, we have the basic things like digestion and bowels and all kinds of stuff and adrenals. Those we're gonna call best of show with that. In other words, we really feel like we're at the top there as good as anybody and equal to with those. And we take great pride in that. Now, our specialty line though, that's part of what we're gonna talk about today is unbelievably exciting. We have formulas in here that technically you would go, you know, you're not really be, should be able to have those and they shouldn't be able to work like that. But you know, Martin, Time and time and time and time and time again, we found that our Earth Friend products really do the job. They take care of our patients and they do many things that nothing else on this planet seems to be able to. We'll mention also all of our products are certified organic and wildcrafted herbs. We can get certificates on everything that we have. Our glycerin is organic, our beeswax is organic, our olive oil is organic, our vegetable glycerin is organic. So we go to incredible great lengths to get the finest materials that we can. And I have to tell you how OCD I am. You can maybe have something that would be good for two years, comes a year, it's in the trash on that. Um, as far as raw herbal materials, we keep them for a very short time. Same thing, we make all of our tinctures in small batches, so everything is continually fresh in our laboratory. So we take amazingly great care just to get the best, absolutely best materials. Number of things are well crafted for us especially and uh, come to us and other people don't get to use those. So anyhow, that's a little bit about Earthfriend. So, uh several things that pop to mind like one you mentioned that you want to keep it fresh but wouldn't uh, alcohol-based tincture last for years it <laughs> does on it um those we we're talking i was actually talking about our raw materials say like our dry herbs which have a really specific time in terms of expiration i've talked to people from companies and they'll keep their dry herbs around four or five years going hey it's a root it's in something but I feel that the time for the peak potency of these things, you have a certain window. And I'm really, really happy to live within that window. Just to give you an example is you can buy a pound of uh, commercial ginger root for about three something on the market. We pay about 14 to $15 for it because it's organic, shade dried, and it's just amazingly that much better. And we're able to actually absorb a lot of that cost into our products on that too. So we don't really balk at getting the best that we possibly can uh, from that. Many of our suppliers we've dealt with now for many decades 
and uh, they know how discriminating we are. Good. So uh, let me ask you this, how have you come by all this knowledge? I mean, I guess we can see that you've been probably working for 40 something years in the chosen field of yours, but how did you get to, to this place? Oh, I kind of have a gift, Martin, on this. Um, many people call me a shaman or a medicine man or things. I have a very unusual connection um, with, with the herbal kingdom. It's like they talk to me on the same thing with medical things and stuff. It's always come very easy to me. A lot of it is perspective, you know, very truthfully. I feel when the heart is really open and you truly, truly wish to serve, you know, these things just happen. Mary Baker Eddy wrote, divine love always has met and always will meet every human need. And when we come up with a formula, I like to think it's really divine love, okay? Nature itself expressing in this. I'll give you an example. We have a set of formulas that we'll be offering on the market. I think I've mentioned this to you, probably around mid or late, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, fall. By the time we get done with the final testing and the labeling and all of that stuff, it's months and months to do all of that. I made this for a gentleman who uh, had uh, MS, multiple sclerosis, and his symptoms abated within about four or five days, started getting better. I got a referral from um, a doctor I know who works over at Stanford. My office uh, in Redwood City is not far from Stanford, and she had a patient that was let go uh, pretty much by there because they couldn't figure out what was wrong. We gave the same formula to him. He had neurodegeneration, was a man in his mid early mid-70s, and was pretty much wheelchair-bound pretty soon. The guy's out there gardening, doing all kinds of great stuff. So those that's a set of formulas I'm letting you know. Um, I designed specifically. So we get some new and wonderful, exciting things come out. But like I always say, it's like I kind of sit down with the spirit of the herbs. We have a cup of coffee together, a cup of tea. We sort of chat and they tell me their secrets. It's a little more than that, obviously. But, you know, we've been very blessed with creating things that have actually saved lives. We've had mm -hmm. a number of people that were terminal. We have people that would be in wheelchairs that would be incapacitated. We have got so many, I mean, like letters and notes from people and things. So anyhow, like I said, I just feel very blessed with that. Yeah, I've noticed that the number of your uh, formulas share certain herbs. There, there seems to be some kind of an overriding concept to it, as yeah. if there were some kind of a carrier or a driver or some metabolic, I don't know what, delivery vehicle that seems to be shared, which is quite different from what you see out there in general. Well, how I build my formulas, they're modules. Think of it like this. So we have a number of formulas that deal with things neurological. Okay. Now, instead of inventing the wheel, we'll take a portion of this and a portion of that that we know fulfills those particular type of needs, you know, for the formulation. Then we'll combine that and then we'll build a whole new, excuse me, other sets of modules around that. And that has been so incredibly successful. We also build support formulas sometimes too with it, but we tend to keep our formulas pretty streamlined on that. I, I know there was our fibromyalgia formula is a really funny formula. It's a very famous herbalist who lives in Santa Cruz also, who I won't name. But uh, when he first heard I was in town, you know, it was, who's this guy and stuff? Because I wasn't going to practice here. And I'm, I'm pretty low key wherever I am. So he looked at my fibromyalgia formula. Uh, somebody showed it to him on a piece of paper, threw it on the ground, stepped on it. And he says, that's garbage. There's not enough herbs in there to make it work. So <laughs> the point was, wow, do you need to put 40 ingredients in your dinner or can you put three or four in there? And it's absolutely fantabulous. So we try instead of doing the shotgun or the kitchen sink approach, like I said, the term I love to use is elegant, smooth and streamlined. You know, a formula has a specific, you know, function that it does, like the fibromyalgia formula. It's cool. As long as you have a presentation of true fibrinous tissue with that, it works every time. It's basic chemistry for the human body. So someone comes up to me and says, well, it will cure my digestion. Will it cure cancer? or Will it cure TB? Well, this is my, my thing I say on this one. On that formula, it's a one-trick pony. It mm. cures that. Well, However, the, yeah. trick is, the trick is the pony can jump over the Grand Canyon a long way. 
it's one hell of a trick and he doesn't need another one. He doesn't have to count to three. He just jumps over the Grand Canyon the long way. So this formula jumps over the Grand Canyon that way, but won't count to three or four for you. Right, I get that. I wonder if that name would have not been better um, to call it fibrosis rather than fibromyalgia because these days people lump under fibromyalgia almost everything. Oh, the thing. syndrome is now chronic fatigue and migraine and oh, thyroid and everything that people call fibromyalgia anything that's yeah. autoimmune related, right? Well, what I do is in the practice, I don't even call it that. We put it on the label, I'm, you know, on that so people knew what it was very truthfully. And right. the next time we reprint, I might actually take the fibromyalgia off the label. I'm not yeah. really sure with that. But I call it basically a fibrotous tissue condition. Right. There we go. There so we go. I, have a, I have a question. So yes, uh, your formulas or your tinctures are in grain alcohol. They are in a combination of grain alcohol, distilled water, and organic vegetable glycerin, yes. So I have a good portion of people who are very sensitive to all things gluten and all things grain. Yep. Like anything that resembles grass or grain or whatever, they just say, I just cannot touch this. What do we have for that? Or, or how do we address it, if at all? It's a very low alcohol content for us. We put in way, 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 way more vegetable glycerin. See, the whole thing is to have something that extracts. So we go more towards the vegetable glycerin than we do the alcohol in there. Mm -hmm. So with it, so we're able to keep our gluten content way, way, way down as much as possible. Okay. A thought comes to mind. Uh, alcohol tends to evaporate. Would it be at all useful to try to warm it up so that it would evaporate or that's just no, 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 no. that would just destroy it okay that, that would ruin what's ever in there i know people say they do that but it it doesn't really work you know on that um with it the point is you would actually have to cook off a bunch of the liquid which would really destroy that you have to bring it to a quite a simmer and let it sit so tell me this uh like many people talk about the uh um classic Dr. Christopher, herbalist kind of thinking. Your formulas are thinking quite differently or conceived quite differently from that, yes? Well, not really, that's my basis. Um, when Dr. Christopher's died, Nature's Way hired me to take their place for a little while. I did some lecturing for their new pro. So I understand Dr. Christopher's. Now, this is interesting, Dr. Christopher's work was based on what's called uh, Thompsonian herbalism. He was one of the last big Thompsonian. I studied Samuel Thompson's work, and we consider Samuel Thompson to be the father of modern herbal medicine here in the West. He learned from the Native American folks. Um, so uh, Dr. Christopher was, was learned a lot of that. He was also a student of Dr. Shook, who I studied his work intensively. I'm probably one of the, the best students of Dr. Shook's work anywhere. But yes, my things have gone in a different direction, but underlying, or if you look at some of my older formulas that we had never changed because they were great that I designed like, you know, several decades ago or just did small upgrades, you will see classic tonic Western herbalism and they're beautifully delineated, just exactly right. What I've come up with though is a whole different form of chemistry actually that works with chemical chains. And this is what's so cool is my work now has gone to correcting actually uh, genetic uh, variants and variations on themes, especially with MTHFR, that's the cellies, but we've taken it numerous steps further, which is what you'll see in the fall, where we release the products that were, took out of beta testing uh, just recently, uh, that were in full, full mode with that now. So basically, yes, we still have wonderful tonic herbs, just like Dr. Christopher created. In fact, I use similar herbs to what he did because I studied his work and uh, just thought he was one of the most inspired human beings this planet has ever seen. In fact, one of my sons, his middle name is even Christopher. We named him. That's how much I respect Dr. Christopher, of course, um, with that. But then you'll see that and you'll see some different phases. Then starting with the fibromyalgia formula on, you'll see something completely different, which is how I've learned to take and help to correct chemical chains, like how the fibro formula works is that the body cannot absorb a particular nutrient, so it allows the system for the fibrin to grow hard throughout it. 
Okay, well, I identified the uh, nutritional aspect that was missing. We plug it in right over the variant like that, right? And it corrects it, and it's, the body starts absorbing the tissue back in the first day or two, and over a period of time, it absorbs it all back. So what we're doing with that phase was correcting chemical chains, you see, on that. There was a whole phase of that. Now what we're doing here is we're neutralizing neurotoxins in the body that create all kinds of symptomology for the incredible myriads and plethora of autoimmune disease. And we are so successful, man. Yes. You can tell how excited I am. Yes. <laughs> I can tell. I can't believe this, how well this is working. In fact, I would probably ask this fall if we could do a special video just on that, on those, that grouping of products, I think would be like really gangbusters. But I, I haven't seen anything like this occur before, even in my practice, Martin. Uh, all kinds of autoimmune diseases are, now we're not curing them. What we're doing is, we're putting them away so that they cannot manifest. You would have to take in, you have to use the word cure, you have to be really, really careful about it in this field. You're like, it's good not to use it at all. You know, with it, what we're doing is we are, while the product is being used, we are correcting the effects and literally taking them out of the autoimmune the way it would manifest depending upon the gene variation and the system. So we're able to do this with numerous things, especially off the top, anything neurological. It just hit it really hard and really well. So I'm having all kinds of patients with neurological difficulties that are just doing really well and are starting to be getting closer to being asymptomatic after a long time uh, with that on it, including, you know, like I said, referrals from uh, a doctor at Stanford and things I mentioned. He was one of the, he was the second person I treated with that who just has amazing results. And this guy who would have been in a wheelchair with wasting neurological disease at this point is cutting trees. <laughs> he's put weight back on. The guy looks fantastic and he's in his 70s. He's just, he's just so thrilled and happy just to be having a second chance at life. So, all right, cool. So let's let's talk in general. Do yes. all of the um, formulas end up being prescribed in about the same way as far as how much a person should take? Is, is Generally, that... yes. There, I standardized everything pretty much on that. So um, how do people then take it? Ahead of food, with food, this, that, whatever. Let's just have have a. Well, I try to make it easy. Say, half, average is a half an eyedropper three times a day, Mark. With that. Half an eyedropper in my world is about 10 drops. Is that correct? Yeah, whatever it is, something around there. I'd have to count it. I just go half Three an eyedropper. Times a day. Okay, and so empty mouth? Empty mouth, uh, take it straight, and then drink some water. And when you say take it straight, do, do we mean hold it five minutes or two, or how long? No, everything is designed to absorb instantly in the mucous membranes. Our carrier that we actually use. Our extraction liquid takes, our extraction medium takes care of that. So with the extra vegetable glycerin and what's in the herbs, it actually directs it to drive it right in the mucous membranes in the mouth. Now that's important because anything else, <coughs> excuse me, pills or tea, a lot of liquid goes in the stomach and then what it does, it competes with the food and you get a much smaller amount. Anything that goes to the stomach, you're in competition, you get a smaller amount. The herbs absorb so amazingly right in the mucous membranes in the mouth, which is one great big mucous membrane. So it begins and goes to work instantly. Uh, the gentleman, the uh, doctor paid for the patent, a neurologist for the fibromyalgia formula. Uh, he uses my stuff down in uh, a clinic in LA, uh, or Santa Monica, and he said, I have to tell you, he goes, I think you've broken some material laws because I've given people some of your things. And as soon as it touches their mouth, they get a result. He goes, things can't travel that fast through the body. He goes, how do you do that? So those are some of our secrets. But we have some amazing things to be able to move that through the blood system and then direct it right to the exact areas that we want. Yes, that, that would have to be light rather than liquid. <laughs> Yeah. It's the vibrational effect rather than the physical effect. I'm never quite sure how it works, but you know what? I am have to always thrilled when it does. <laughs> it's good to have some mystery in life, I think. Yes, indeed. Okay, so everybody takes about the same amount. About Well, what if a person is 150 pounds or 300 pounds? Still? That's a great question. Now, if it's all of our newer formulas, it doesn't matter because they don't work on 
the actual tissue of the body, what they do. For example, the fibromyalgia t- uh, formula, it does not, okay, for example, make, okay, tells the tissue, uh, breaks the tissue down, okay? It doesn't affect the tissue at all. What it does is it corrects the chemical chain and then the body reabsorbs it back on its own. If you weigh 90 pounds to 290 pounds, you take the same dose. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Now, so, however, though, when, excuse me, when you get to things like our immune formula, then you would take more of that. So it depends on the formula with that. But generally, you don't really need that because a lot of that is now working on chemical chains. All right. Sounds good. So, and, and the results. How long does it take for things to start changing? You mentioned that some of it is instant. Oh, it depends. Do, people, do, do we tell people to expect results in five days, 10 days, two Everybody. bottles, three bottles? What do we say? Everybody is completely different. Um, I never guess. I consider that one of the most unethical things that can happen in my field. I've been in this field for a very, very long time. And I just tell people, I'm not sure. Let's find out. This is generally, but you know, we don't know yet. So I find it important not to leave people on. Some people can get an effect much sooner and some people it takes longer, like the fibro formula. I've had people in a week or two tell me they start to feel better. And I've had people take three or four weeks to tell me on that. So I can say somewhere within a month, maybe. But truthfully, without knowing the person and stuff, I, I really hesitate to do that. Right. Well, on my end, it presents as the person wants to know. Yeah. Well, I'd like to know a lot of things in life also, too, but I can't always get an answer. But it just, it really depends so much, you know, on things um, with stuff. I mean, for example, like our PTSD formula. You have PSD, P, PS, PTSD and you take it, count to about one, and it should work. If it doesn't, take a second dose and take a third dose. It'll always work as long as it's genuinely spiking cortisol. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, yes, Speaking things of like which, that you can, but other things you definitely can't. Yeah. Speaking of which, this cortisol formula is quite an unusual. I have had people tell me that they take it right at the time when they need it. Say, for example, they're having a hard time going to sleep or hard yeah. time relaxing at the end of the day. They take it and it works nearly immediately. Yes. Some things do like that. Other things say like the fungus formula, okay? That could take days or weeks to really get in there, okay? So the person starts to feel better and that depends on their diet. Are they living in a moldy house? So you got somebody over there who's eating like, you know, mushrooms and sugar all day long and they're living in a moldy house and they're going, why isn't this working? And I've had that happen. And they get really angry. People get angry sometimes, but the situation for that, it's even situational. With the PTSD thing, you could be in the middle of the most stressful situation, put a few droppers in your mouth, it's always going to work. So that's the thing is there's such a wide variation on when you're going to see, you know, therapeutic advances with things. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Um, So for Life Enthusiast, I would like to thank Elijah Free for the introduction to the Earth Friend Herbs. Just understand, when we introduce the company, it is the master works. And uh, we will be recording individualized videos that relate to specific formulas. So this is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you for listening. <laughs>